Okay, um, I have a video topic that I want to speak about. And the video topic is get out of a loser situation. Get out of a loser situation. And basically it's self-explanatory, but you know, we all um, go through, you know, periods throughout our lives, ups and downs and things of that sort. But, um, you know, we all been at the point where, you know, we had our lows and, you know, kind of want to just skate by with life and do the bare minimum, you know, put the goals on the back burner. But this topic is just, it's been on my mind for a couple of days now that, you know, um, you know, go through your little moment, but, you know, get over it, you know, uh, re-energize yourself and get back in the game because um, it's easy just to accept things as they are. Um, just go with the flow kind of. But I mean, I've been there myself. I've, I haven't always been ambitious or had much drive, but you know, I'm grateful that I'm not in that place anymore. And for me, it was more mental than anything because everything's all about perspective and your mindset. So, you know, whether it be a relationship that you're in, you know, and it's not a good situation or it's one of what they call a situationship, you know, just get out of it. Like it's, I know it's easier said than done, but really like, if it's not beneficial to you, um, you're not enjoying it, you know, just leave. Like, there's nothing that's keeping you there. You're not held against your will, unless you are, but then that's a, a crime. But, yeah, just walk away from the situation. And, um, you know, set some goals, some steps that you want to take. Um, towards getting out of that situation, but also beyond that situation, you know, have a course of action of what you want to do. Um, because a lot of times I think that people, they, especially if you're, you don't have your own independence. And what I mean by independence, I mean financial independence. If you're dependent upon someone else financially, uh, depending on your situation, that can be a bad place to be in because the other person can exploit you. Um, let's say if you're not not married or whatever. Yeah, if you marry, you're supposed to technically be equals, but you know it's whatever. So yeah, just make sure you got your own things or whatever. Not saying that you're you don't need the other person, but it's like you know when shit goes south, just make sure that you, that you don't have to try to think on your feet as one pulls a rug from underneath you. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of uh, emotional, psychological, verbal abuse that goes on with uh, certain people, whatever. And really, it's, it's too easy to just get out of the situation and actually mean it. Like, you know, leaving and then coming back, you're just showing the other person that they can, you know, continue the behavior. Uh, you know, job situations. You know, we all have maybe at some point had a shitty job, low-paying job, uh, want it better, um, apply, you know, maybe get a call back, maybe not, maybe get an interview, maybe not. But, yeah, I mean, there's, there's literally... Uh, thousands and thousands of new jobs posted every single day especially like on indeed i check indeed not every day but maybe three or four times a week and the only reason why i check i'm not personally looking to, to leave my job i think i'm good where i'm at right now um but you know you always want to see where the new opportunities are there's always new opportunities every single day and that's what what is why i check is like oh what's new out here uh, what's something that's interesting, you know, because you always want to keep your eyes open. And, you know, there's always 
something that, you know, if you don't check often enough, you'll miss it. Or someone else would have already been hired for the position or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, I've been there before with uh, certain jobs that I wanted to get away from one situation and I took a lower paying job, you know, less stressful or whatever. Um, that didn't last long. So yeah, I had my ups and downs, but I've always stayed consistent and persistent to um, chase the next thing. So it's not necessarily chasing money, but it's like you just kind of want to get in a get a job that not necessarily that you love, but just get in a position where it's like. You know, you're not micromanaged. Um, you kind of can do your own thing without, uh, you know, the, like I said, the oversight. So, but also at the same time, having a, a livable wage where you can stay at that job and not have to work multiple jobs. So, yeah, all that takes effort to find and, and do. Um, but like I said, those opportunities are there that present themselves on a daily basis. Sometimes they may come sooner than later, but they're always present. So you just gotta have that right uh, mentality. Uh, think positive, positively and, you know, have the drive and like, you know, be hungry for the success that's out there. So. Uh, so, you know, you think, for example, like right now, or what's actually really been going on, but with the migrants that are coming from uh, the southern border, like you got to have that kind of like drive and ambition, you know, because like th these people are coming here from with nothing and they're going to come here and take advantage of the opportunities that, you know, that America has to offer a lot of jobs that we consider low wages from American standards, for them, that's gonna be like a million bucks more than likely. And they're gonna come here and they're not gonna complain. They're gonna, you know, either apply or whatever, get that job, stick with that job, you know, provide for their family. And we have a lot of people here in America that take that stuff for granted. Oh, uh, there's a job available, it just don't, it's not what I wanna do. I don't wanna be a janitor. I don't wanna, uh, do sanitation work. I don't want to be a housekeeper. And a lot of times it's like, you think you're too good for it? Or you, you know, it's not paying enough? Okay, I, I maybe can understand you on the pay, but it's like, you know, you can get certain jobs and promote up. Like, you got to have goals. Like, these people are coming here or coming here with families with nothing. And you give them just a little bit of time and they're going to, uh, elevate more than some of the people that are that are choosing not to work or bypass certain jobs. And you know what they're gonna say? Oh, they're taking our jobs. You didn't want the job. <laughs> like these people are literally, like like I said at the beginning of the video, getting out of a loser situation. You know they're. You know I'm a runner myself. You know like run distance and all that. But these people are travel hundreds, thousands of miles on foot. They're not running. I mean, they're, they're walking, but you know, hell, they got the endurance to, you know, have that faith to get out here. Um, you know, believing in the American dream, if you want to call it that and getting themselves and, and their families in a better situation. And they're really getting out of that losing situation. So we, um, as Americans back home or here at home, like, you really got a good, like, you know, you just got to have a different perspective. Like, um, like I said, have that migrant type of uh, energy mentality. To, like, you got to have that hunger, that drive to get it done. And that's basically what I wanted to speak about is that, you know, get out of loser situations. You know it's a loser situation while you're in it. Like, don't get complacent in it. Like, get out there and make some changes happen. And I understand there's a lot of negativity and it ain't always easy to do, but it's it's doable. You just got to make a plan and have some action behind it.